Hello and welcome to a new video about my ball balancer. Well, today I want to try the distance measurement. Uh, the distance measurement, if this distance measurement is going to perform the task to measure the position of this ball here. Uh, this is... You know, this ultrasonic distance measurement, this is not working too good. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we have three pi uh, four pins here. Uh, four pins. We have a VCC pin. Yeah, there is plus five volt. We have a trigger pin. We have a echo pin. We have a ground pin. And I will use red for VCC. Green for trigger. Go. Uh, this is my. And then this time. Because on this back of cables I don't have white, so I'm using yellow. And the blue one, as usual, is ground. Okay, that's, that's here. Mm -hmm. And on the Arduino side, on the Arduino side, I have blue and red is plus and minus. So we have here plus 5 volt. And ground. Good. And trigger I will use for simply the next one. Two and three was the two buttons. Trigger is four. Echo is five. That's it. Yeah, that's the hardware setup. And now I'm going to program this. All right, so uh, actually what I'm going to do is I will use defines. Stupid here. Define servo pin, it's 11, hashtag define button up, it was two, or was it three? Button up was three, button down was two, and then of course I have the trigger pin with four, and the echo pin with five. Good. Yeah. Put this, fix this here. Servo pin. This it does it look uh, it looks then a little bit more you know readable. Button down and button up. All right. Then we had here a pin mode for the trigger pin must be an output. And the pin mode for the echo pin must be an input. I don't need input pull up here. And I just need input because this is actively switching between ground and plus. All right. And now I am going to code unsigned long get duration. Okay, to, to trigger to trigger a measurement, I have to set the, the trigger pin to low. Then I'm sure it's low. Okay, then I will delay short time. Yeah? And then I will set the trigger pin to high. This is now triggering, this is now triggering the uh, measurement. I will leave this at 10 microseconds at high. This should be enough for the for the model to to uh, recognize. And this sequence trigger pin low, high, low. This should uh, trigger the measurement now. And the only thing I have to do now is measure how much how much time we need. And there is this pulse in function. Yeah? 
pulls in function and we are listening to the echo pin uh, as long as it is high yeah? and here I oh this is okay I don't have to write anything this should be okay good uh, let's save this so I have now the duration this here the current value I won't print out anymore yeah then we have here uh, unsigned long the duration here I should have now the duration if the, the if the duration is not equal to zero uh, because this pulse in will return zero if there is uh, a timeout or something like this yeah. if it was zero then I will print out no echo I will delay this let's say we were, we are measuring every 500 milliseconds because right now I just want to see if this is uh, I want to print out I want to print out the centimeters. I want to print out centimeters because this I can guess, can make good guesses. Zero print. Mm. So I will have the duration. The duration is in microseconds. And the speed of sound is 343 meters per second. So it's that many meters, 43,300 centimeters per second, that many meters per millisecond, uh, centimeters per millisecond, and that many centimeters by microsecond. This is microsecond, okay, this should fit. However, that, that we have to travel there and back again, so only I need half of this okay I need half of this and of course this must then be a double value double duration I need half of this so uh, what is half of this? <laughs> 0 0.0343 0 0 Now I should get out centimeters. And that's actually it. Uh, this should work. This should work. Mm -hmm. Let's try. Upload this. If we are measuring now something like uh, ooh, 60 centimeters. This is good. This is already good. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, 60 centimeters, this is good. Uh, where's the ball? Where have put the ball? Shit, I've dropped it. Ah. <coughs> dropped it. Huh? 61 centimeters. <laughs> it's more. Now, ooh, this is not looking too good. 17? 10? Alright. 10, this might be 10. But what is happening here? 60 centimeters. Mm. Mm. This does not look good. This does not look good. Alright. Let's see. A line says more than a thousand words. Yeah? And we have here. I will close this and we'll start the Arduino. Save all. Yes, please. Start the Arduino IDE. There we have the serial, the serial uh, plotter. No, why oh, is this working? Sixteen. Centimeters, yes, it's working. <gasps> I 
In serial monitor it is working. In serial plotter it's not working. Okay, then we'll stick to the serial monitor. With the hand everything looks fine. Like this. 13 centimeters. Three centimeters, oh, this looks good. Oh, it looks good. So it is it is working. But with this ball, 60 centimeters. Oh, that's for sure not true. Okay, I have a variation of different balls. <laughs> Let's try a ping pong ball. Ooh, 40, this is something. Really just something. Six oof, no okay. Ping pong ball is worse. I have a bigger ball, it's almost the same size as this as this squeegee ball. I borrowed it from my son. Twelve centimeters, this looks not too bad. Three centimeters, alright. 61. Oh, it is the same. Somewhere here. 60 centimeters. Again, again. Probably it's the ball shape. Tell you what, I will try to flip. Because right now the upper, the upper uh, is the sender and the lower is the receiver. I try it now to flip. Alright, flip this. Maybe we get lucky. Nobody knows with this sound echoing and stuff. This is, yeah, it's a whole science. So, flip it. Plug it. Okay, I said we want to flip it. Just hold it in there. 55 centimeters. Oh yeah. Now it's not even working by hand. <laughs> Maybe with bolts. Crap. This one. Maybe if I put it somewhere Maybe the big one here The fuzzy one, I'm not even sure if the fuzzy one is that good at the 50 centimeters No, it's not working A little bit more above 9 centimeters 55 centimeters uh, Here's the here is this ball. I don't believe that this will ever work. No. no. All right. So this is not working. So what to do? What worked? Not that bad was this movement. Movement of the box here. The movement of the box. Maybe I should design something with wheels so that we can move along here. That I put in two two little wheels. And the wheels are moving on the tracks. And just comes to my mind. I do have something else. I have to find it. Uh, should be in here somewhere. Ah! 
I knew it was in there. Time of flight laser Abstand sensor. Time of flight laser distance measurement. Huh? SCL, SCD. Ooh, even two. Three. <laughs> All right. How are they working? All right. How are they working? Okay, we'll try to find out next video because maybe this is this is what we need. Maybe this is what we need. Okay, two possibilities: build a wagon or try this distance measurement. I will first try this distance measurement for this time. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.